night, guys. Today's the day. We're here at UK Clinic. I am terrified. I'm walking in. I've got to pee. I don't know if it's because I'm nervous or if just because I drank a lot of water. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Well, I guess we won't find out which one it is because it doesn't really matter either way. i got to use the bathroom. But, all right, I guess we'll update after the procedure's done. It shouldn't take more than like a half hour. And uh, this video will be like, won't come out until like weeks after this op uh, procedure. So, we'll get a full scale you know, before, during, after idea of what to expect. Wing C, I thought. I can't remember. So that might have been the most awkward check-in of all time. <laughs> uh, is my face red? Anybody? Yes. It's super red. Yeah. Well, it's just weird talking to other people. It's just not, not something you normally do. She was very nice. She was nice. But I'm scared still. It's gonna be all that. Alright guys. It's over. It took like uh, fifteen minutes, seriously. It's like what time is it on your phone? Probably like not even three it's not even four. Definitely not four. It is 3.42. My appointment was at 3.30. We did get started a little bit early. Maybe like 3.20. 3.15. And I've been out for a few minutes. So, Alright guys, well, we're headed home. So, first thought, and this may change. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do this video over a couple weeks. Um, so it'll all be put together. But, initial impression is, that pain was not anywhere close to what I was expecting. Um, based on a couple videos I watched, um, I was, it was, it was scaring me. So, I'm not going to be that guy that just tries to terrify people because I just went through it, but it's really not bad, guys. Trust me, if you've seen your significant other give birth, you know they were in way more pain than you just were. I mean, I mean, my doctor was playing music, we were rocking out to some, uh, I think it was like 70s or 80s rock. I mean, he was just chit-chatting, talking about work. I mean, it was just very laid back. So, I was, uh, I'm glad it's over because I was way more anxious about it than what I should have been because that wasn't that bad. Whoa, that was bright. So, there's different styles of vasectomies. So, the way this doctor does it is basically like four layers of protection, he said. So, basically, he takes the vas deferens, which is the tube that has the semen in it, takes it, he cuts cuts it so that's one he so he burns both ends he then huh then he clip he clips both ends and then he also puts a uh, some kind of so some kind of layer of tissue between um like on the ends of them so that there's a layer of tissue between them um so there's like four methods of protection in this one procedure so the chances of it growing back are really really low um but I, of course, at this very moment, we could still get pregnant, but we come back in 12 weeks to give a specimen, and then they tell us, yay or nay, that it worked or it did not. So, but I'm really, uh, if it didn't work, I'm not at all worried about trying it again. I would totally try it again. What do you think? Try it again? Because. Because, I mean, because that was not bad. Not bad. So, anyway, headed home. We'll see you. Probably not going to update again until tomorrow. Let you know how I feel. So, Good morning, guys. It is day one post-procedure. I'm feeling um, abnormally normal. Um, other than having to wear a jock strap and stuff. But, I mean, there's essentially no pain right now. Um, which is good. Hopefully it stays that way. Um, but it, this is what the doctor said was happening. He said, Nick, tomorrow, um, you should feel fine. There shouldn't be any issues. 
but to not overdo anything. So he said that's where people make the mistake is they feel okay, so they already have the day off work, so they decide, hey, I'm going to rake leaves or mow the yard or, or do something, you know, that involves a lot of energy, and I'm going to make some coffee and try to relax today. Um, we'll see you for the next update. What's up, guys? So we're day two post-op, um, our post-procedure. Um, about 48, a little bit over 48 hours, 50 hours since the procedure was done. Still surprisingly comfortable. Um, not had very much pain at all, knock on wood. But um, just took a shower. That went really well. As, as long as I could stand it. They said 24 hours, but I was feeling so good after 24 hours. I was like, well, let's just be safe and not do anything that we think might cause any pain or anything like that. So I was able to take a shower. Um, like I said, feeling surprisingly comfortable. But probably update again the 72-ish hour mark. And then probably be a break until about a week. So because the week... We'll probably do 72 hours, then I'll probably update you guys the first day I get to go back to the gym and let you know how that goes, which is about a week out. Um, so, anyway guys, I know y'all won't see this till it's all over, but it's going good so far. What's up guys? So, here we are. Uh, it's now December 8th today, so we are a little over two months post-vasectomy. Um... So I wanted to just wrap up this video. Um, obviously, I'm 100% healed. I've uh, been back at the gym full force for weeks now. Um, absolutely no complications whatsoever. Um, basically, just to wrap it up, I mean, if you have decided you don't want any more children, um, then I see no reason why you would not follow through with this procedure. Um, very simple procedure. Uh, very very effective procedure just wanted to wrap up the video guys and let you all know that everything went perfect I mean I, I couldn't ask for more um, so another quick thing I'm gonna throw in at the end of this uh, if you've been following our Instagram or anything like that you've seen today I posted that we um, have started a new partnership with tigerfitness.com um, the link will be below um, it is a supplement company. If you've never heard of it, um, it's an online supplement retailer, um, and it is the best in the business, period. Um, if you've watched our videos for any length of time or followed our Instagram, you've seen me mention them. Um, you've also seen me mention MTS Nutrition, which is a company that is exclusive to TigerFitness.com, and TigerFitness.com is an exclusive distributor. Um, they have whey protein, uh, BCAAs, uh, fat burners, if you're into that, it's not, I'm not into that, but if you're into it, they have, it's called Drop Factor, um, they have multivitamins, all kinds of other supplements, um, under the MTS line, and seriously guys, the protein, you see me make the brownies, you see me make shakes, it's the best tasting protein I've ever had, okay, so, it's, you, you gotta try it, links below, go check it out, if you have any questions about this video, or anything else, be sure to uh, leave us a comment or um, you can DM us on Instagram, however you want to reach out to us. We appreciate all the support. As always, 